rats and mice. Hey, I agree that they can look cute and cuddly. However, they do contaminate food, gnaw on structures, gnaw on wires that can cause electrical fires and even spread diseases. Hi, I'm Keith McCoy with Solutions Pest and Lime. When rodents nest indoors and outdoors, they can multiply very quickly and create an environment that's unhealthy for people. That's why we need to take immediate action. You need to follow the solution's four-step process to eliminating mice and rats. The first step to the process is identification. There are many different types of rats and mice. The most common of these that you may encounter are the Norway rat, roof rat, deer mouse, or house mouse. Let's review how to identify each one. The Norway rat usually weighs anywhere from about 15 to 16 ounces. They're typically found outdoors. They burrow into the ground up underneath structures. They have a blunt nose, small ears, and small eyes. The roof rat is usually found up in attics, trees, along fence lines, and they have a very slender body, weighing in at about 11 to 14 ounces. They have a pointed nose, large eyes, large ears. The deer mouse is most commonly found outdoors. Its body is two to three inches long, with the tail being of equal length. Both the eyes and ears are large, and its underside is white, and the backside is grayish brown. Their coloring and agility resembles a deer. This is where they get their name, deer mouse. The house mouse body is usually about two to three inches in length. Their tail is about three to four inches long. They have a pointed nose, and they have large eyes and large ears. The second step to the process is inspection. We want to confirm rodent activity in or around the home. The easiest way to do this is by hearing noises up in the attic. Also, some other things we want to look for are feces or droppings. Norway rat droppings are about three quarters of an inch long and are blunt on each end. Roof rats droppings are about a half an inch in length and pointed on each end. And the house mouse and deer mouse droppings are about a quarter inch in length and pointed on both ends. We can also look for rub marks or smear marks along baseboards. Rodents' bodies are very oily and oftentimes leave this oily film behind on the surface. Gnaw marks, they love to chew on the edge of wood, maybe around a door frame. They leave hair behind when they go around corners and they put off a very foul odor, smells like urine. Moving on to the outside, look for holes that are around the perimeter of the house. Also check your flower beds. Where vegetation has been compressed down to the soil, this is a sign where rodents are running back and forth. The third step to the process is control. We want to make the environment around the home or structure less conducive to rodent activity. The first thing we can do is pick up pet food and water that might be left out overnight. Clean dirty dishes that are left on the countertop or in the sink. Take your trash out frequently and place it in a metal container. Look around the plumbing in the bathroom and kitchen. Do you have large spaces or voids around that plumbing? These are places where rodents can enter. Outside, take a look where plumbing actually penetrates the wall. Do you have large spaces there? If you have any small areas, always use a caulk. For large voids, you stuff it. It's a copper mesh product that you just stuff right up into the hole. It's very simple to use and a great tool because rodents have a difficult time chewing through it. Now that we've cleaned up our home and property, we're ready to bait the exterior. We're gonna use a product called Eradication Bait Block with the Aegis RP Tamper Proof Station. The Eradication Bait Block has ridges on it. This allows rodents to feed on it very easily. It also has a hole drilled through the center, which you can actually stick on top of the rods that are provided inside the Tamper Proof Bait Station. The Bait Station is a Tamper Proof Station and does require a key that is provided to gain access to the inside. You'll want to place these stations every 15 to 50 feet apart, depending on whether you're dealing with mice or rats. You'll want to make sure you frequent the stations at least once a day. Check and see if there's bait. If not, you'll want to replenish. You'll want to continue to do so until the activity stops. Now that the exterior is completed, let's move on to the inside. I recommend either a glue trap, snap trap, or a live trap. We offer lethal and non-lethal and humane traps. The choice is yours. 
Once the rodent is caught, you can dispose of it very easily. Snap traps, made of a durable plastic, user-friendly, easy to set. You want to bait the trap, place it up against the wall where the trap actually swings towards the wall. You'll want to place it in areas where you know that there's activity. These traps can be used in the living area or up in the attic. Glue traps. There's mouse traps and there's rat traps. The first thing you want to do is peel the paper off the board to expose the glue. Fold the board up to make a box. Place the box up against the wall where you know that there's actual rodent activity. The boards can be used in the living areas or up in the attic. Live traps. If you're interested in a humane way of taking care of a mice problem, then you'll want to use either the repeater or the catch-all. Both of these units are designed to be placed up against the wall where you know that you have rodent activity. What's really nice is that it catches multiple mice and it's a catch and release. The fourth and final step of the process is prevention. Clean up the property. Eliminate any unnecessary food or water. Empty trash cans. Those tree limbs that touch the roof of the house, trim them back. Clean up your flower beds. Bird feeders. Eventually the bird seed is going to fall to the ground, which is a food source for rats and mice. Doing all of these things will help prevent future infestations of rats and mice. So let's recap the solutions four-step process in eliminating rats and mice. One, identification. Two, inspection. Three, control. Four, prevention. If you follow that four-step process, Solutions guarantees you 100% that you will eliminate your rat and mouse problem. For more information, visit our website or visit one of our stores or give us a call. I'm Keith McCoy with Solutions Pest and Line. Ask us how, then do it yourself.